I stand here? I seem to have some glare off the top of my head. Oh well. Um, uh, today we're going to look take a look at uh, crystals and crystalline structure. Uh, so we see over here a picture of a crystal that you're all fairly familiar with. It's got the flat sizes, very uh, regular corners that uh, cut at certain angles, and the sides are all flat. Uh, let's look at why that happens. Well, inside of a crystal, the atoms are spaced in a very particular arrangement. This would be the arrangement for salt. You can see here that things would easily cut along these flat edges, leaving 90 degree angles between the sides. Take a look at a grain of salt. Every single edge is cut at 90 degrees, forming little cubes of salt. Another arrangement might look like this. We can see once again it might cut vertically, but it would also cut at this angle here. And so if we had a crystal of this material, whatever it is, we might see angles like this, uh, like this, and straight up and down, forming something that might look something like this. Now, let's talk about crystallization, which is the forming of the crystals. Here's what happens if a material uh, crystallizes too fast. You end up getting a lot of little crystals forming. So these start to form a crystal here, but then right next to it, another crystal is being formed, and right next to that, another crystal and another crystal over here, and so you get a whole lot of little tiny crystals because they all start to form at one time. Now, if we take a look at something that's cooled slowly, each atom or each molecule, whatever is uh, crystallizing, will form into the pattern and will link into the one that started the crystal, forming this whole great big pattern or a very large crystal, which is what we see with intrusive igneous rocks.